Instagram is not a photo sharing app anymore. Or is it? For the past week, I've been posting a lot of photography content to Instagram and I've been having a lot of fun with it, but it hasn't been in the standard static photos that I've been sharing in the past. In this video, I wanna talk about why I've been doing this and where I see Instagram moving forward when it comes to sharing photos. Over the last few years, we've seen a massive shift to short form content because of the rise of TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. TikTok, it's kind of its own thing. It's its only short form content. And YouTube Shorts is still in the early stages with YouTube long form still dominating. Instagram, on the other hand, has made a huge shift from being a photo first sharing app back in its early days to now pushing out way more reels and video based content and not so much photos anymore. This has resulted in a lot of photographers, especially small photographers, simply not posting as many photos anymore because it's not getting the reach that they used to get. And I myself am definitely in that boat. While I still do post photos once in a while, I don't put as much effort into sharing photos on Instagram than I used to. This is because my photos just weren't really getting that much exposure. No pun intended. Okay, pun definitely intended. This lack of exposure was so much so that even my own followers and friends wouldn't even see my post show up in their feed. So why does this even matter? I've said before in the past that you should just shoot for the love of shooting. Don't worry about the followers, don't worry about the likes, the comments, any of that. Just keep doing photography because you love doing it and just post your photos. And while I still do think that to some extent, there should be a way to do both. Share your work and have the potential to reach more people with it which is what I've been playing with this week when it comes to sharing my photos via Reels on Instagram. If you follow any photographers on Instagram, then you'll notice that something that has been trending a lot recently are short six to 10 second Reels, either showing a before and after Lightroom edit, a behind the scenes and then a shot, or just a compilation of a bunch of different photos in one Reel. And this is something that I've been experimenting with and posting a bunch this week. To be honest, it's actually quite refreshing from a creative standpoint. Not only am I getting the chance to share my photos with more people, but now I'm also having to learn how to put together these reels, which is a lot of fun in and of itself. There's a different crop ratio for the photos. I'm re-editing old photos, going through the archives, trying to find good photos to share, trying to figure out how to cut between the photos, trending audio, all this stuff that goes into reels. It's now a new creative thing that I get to learn. I'm not getting any massive amount of views, but I'm definitely getting a lot more than I would have otherwise if I just posted a static photo. I think a crucial part of photography or filmmaking or just any creative pursuit in general is getting feedback on your work. Whether it's likes, comments, subscribers, these are all metrics that kind of measure whether or not your compass is pointed in the right direction. Sure, when you're first starting out or just in general, you kind of need to take it with a little bit of a grain of salt because the internet can be brutal. But at the same time, it's really important to put yourself out there and to share your work publicly and see what kind of feedback that you get back. The point that I'm trying to make is that you need to share your work to grow as a creator and as an artist. I think this type of photography content is where photography is headed. And I mean, it's already there, but it's not going anywhere anytime soon. I can agree that reels are a lot more captivating than static photos. And with our attention spans getting shorter, probably because of these reels themselves, this is just the type of content that people want to consume. Another thing that people need to keep in mind is that a big part of being creative and being in this economy in general is adaptation. You can be the person who just doesn't want to adapt and doesn't want to pick up any of the new things and just stick to your old ways, and that's fine. But I think that if you really want to maximize your exposure and you want to maximize your potential to reach others, then you kind of do need to jump on board with some of the things. I still think that posting your static photos to your website is a must as a photographer, as this is the way that you intended your photos to be viewed in whatever aspect ratio that you actually intended it to be viewed in. And what better way to do this than to build a website with Squarespace? <laughs> I'm just joking, they're not sponsoring this video. Although Squarespace, if you're watching, feel free to hit me up. Guys, what do you think about sharing your photos via Reels? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you already do it? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video.